Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir et bienvenue dans notre cabaret La Lune Rouge. Je vous demande d'applaudir Lady Dimasina. Italian is a much more romantic language. I don't and won't speak French. You know that, Pierre. It reminds me of my golden prison way too much, darling. Mais je ne parle pas l'italien. Well, then you have to speak my spoiled husband's father's language. That old horror Elizabeth Queen's language. Or should I speak your mother's language, High German? Did you know that King Ludwig was a queen? <laughs> Where's the wine? I know this French fiend hides it in the glove compartment. <laughs> Please, let on your seat and back. <laughs> oh, Pierre, change this. Only old people listen to classical. I am not old. And I appreciate it vastly. Oh, okay. Only British with tight bottoms who are presidents of banks with dividends and fronts and don't fuck their wives correctly listen to this type of mock music. Don't listen to her, Pierre. She's drunk. <laughs> it's the only time you listen to me, Pierre. <laughs> 
It's the only time I can swim in the truth. <laughs> I'll let you keep your name when we got married. But I'll be damned if you take my pride and dance all over it. Especially in front of the help. You don't mind treating help like rubbish, though, do you? When is the last time you received a bonus, Pierre? I mean, he's a banker for fuck's sakes. He prints the damn stuff. He just keeps making copies of that ugly queen's face. <laughs> Pierre, have you ever looked deeply in her eyes on the pounds that he deposits by the millions in French banks? I mean, look at that queen, her eyes. Something dreadful, something dark, something so unsexy. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Are you joking? You protecting the queen? You really that patriotic? It's not only that. I set you up tonight. I paid handsomely for the get up you just experienced. Your relentless desire to become a lounge singer. I know peasants whom have higher goals. William, wake up. Are you right? William. William Witzel, president of Security Bank. Oh, please don't hurt me. I'll do anything, but please don't hurt me. What about your wife? You can we fuck her before we kidnap you, you ugly rich bastard? I thought you didn't like speaking French. On rare occasions. Your wife is quite a hero, Mr. Winter. I must admit, I am proud of her for this. Probably it's the only thing she's proud of me for. Yet I was shaking, and that's the only reason I hit any of them. Uh, Captain Duvar, I've been in banking for 18 years. My family has been for centuries. This type of thing happens on rare occasion. Seems strange they would risk so much so fast to capture me when they know the bank wouldn't pay the ransom. Most serious thieves know the closure statements we sign in order to be in these positions and that we are utterly useless for bargaining chips this way. I mean, it would have been better off robbing a petrol station. So, I spent many years of my youth in America and one of the greatest quotes I heard is desperate times calls for desperate measures. Any business enemies? Enemies? Come on, Captain Duval. My husband is as straight as a Swiss train track. A whole nother side of me you might not be aware of. Sure, but make me smile. Mrs. Messina. Di Messina. Di Messina. I really don't want to hear about your personal examination of your husband or his likewise. I just want to know you're protected, you have security, and your life in what something is paradise stays that way. That security man you mentioned from New York, is he still available? I want my wife covered in the most current way. I don't need security. No. Pierre is enough for us both. No, to... no. This is my decision. And for once, you're not pushing the card this time. I want you safe. Ma'am, I think your husband is saying he loves you. This man comes highly recommended. Mr. Goldman, I've tried several times. Mr. Angelo doesn't answer. Isn't that good in breaking hands? I wouldn't give it to Aunt Sarah. Let me call him. Nick, I've got a big job for you in South of France. Lots of lovely ladies. Well, I'm glad I know. There's only one thing in the next. 
next couple hours I have to know if you can take that job. So I'll call me on my cell. Bye bye. Is there anything made? Love. There's a man go around taking names. There's a man go around taking names. What the hell? I am so sorry, sir. Is it normal man comes out his butt with uh, his pistol? It's a shotgun, not a pistol, Slavka. And his name is Honey. And I got a lot of reasons I do what I gotta do. And can I ask you a question? Why are you breaking in here and bothering me the only time I get any peace in this city? Sorry, sir, but uh, I couldn't help. Over here, it seems like your working place called me. Oh, Tony? Tony called? Yes, uh, some sort of uh, urgent uh, answer needed for uh, employment. Yeah. Yeah. Everything in my business is pressure. Yeah. Mr. Renza, I believe Miss Elsa is here. Jubilee, Jubila. Me. I mean, Mr. Angelo. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, by all means, please make yourself a drink. Well, I mean, some iced tea, if that fits your fancy. Uh, I know my reputation precedes me, sir. However, I haven't had a drink in two years. That incident was a while back, and I got through it. My condolences, is me. Thank you very much, Captain Duvar. I'd like to jump right on it. Where is Miss Dee Messina's room? No disrespect, however, her security has been compromised. No problem at all. Most people call her by my last name. However, she kept hers. Pretty insightful of you. Well, I didn't go to school, but I did do some homework. <laughs> Fantastic. Then uh, Renisha will show you your guest room below. It's quite lovely. When Julieta and I go to our monthly brows, she scurries me down there to stay. It's uh, a bit smaller than this home, but it has a charm of a mountain bear. I didn't know mountain bears had charm. Well, of course, when they're dead and there's a rock. <laughs> I like a man who speaks his mind. I hope you do that all the time, so we won't have any confusion working together. I run 13 banks. I'm surrounded by employees who think that I will print some money for them someday and give them a big envelope. Yet, I'm just a cold-hearted businessman who happens to know how to run an operation that good. Except my wife. She's uh, the only operation around here that stiffens me a tad bit. I blame myself. She's too damn pretty, and I just can't resist her. That's all. Well, like I said, uh, I want to get on it right away with Miss Messina. Uh, maybe Pierre and I could split the shift. Damn heck of a memory. Yes, it is Pierre. I'm sure you just heard this once, if at all. Just good training, Captain Duvall. Your arm, what happened to it? Yeah, just broken. Unfortunately, you won't have much time off. So many of those French hearts on the beat would love your New York accent. I'm not here for that, sir. I'm here to secure your wife. He passes all the tests, doesn't he, Captain?
strange cat. Please have some breakfast. You sure? Quite sure. Well, I resent the sir thing. All day, year after year, sir, this, sir, that at the banks. Probably better and more relaxing for me if you say William. William it is. Oh dear, I forgot you had the night shift. You must be exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep? You should have said something. I'm a man of my word. Plus the coffee looks good. Another American colloquialism. Seem to be many around here all of a sudden. Oh, the Queen has arrived. No, thank you. She's for sure not an American, say. She's an Italian who was born in Germany, with a tinge of Romanian on her mother's side. Oh, shut up, William. Just tell him the truth. I have gypsy blood, and you've tried to hide it for years from all your family and friends. Nick, uh, the bread is the best in the world in France. I suggest you try it. However they cook their steaks, way too rare, oozing with blood, these French. You can never trust the French men. They're all blood drinkers. I don't know much about them, but it's a pretty country. Oh yes, New York has such a good rap for such a shithole. I mean that place. I've been there on many occasions. It's a rat fest. I mean literally. I was walking down the streets and the rats were fighting each other to get to the rubbish bins. Yeah, well, I'm from Brooklyn. We used to send all the rats over to Manhattan. <laughs> I've only been in Manhattan four years, though. The bread's great, William. Oh, I see first name basis. William, I told you long ago, speaking with the peasants on first name basis will get you nothing. Oh, something you don't like to taste. I wouldn't get too close to a man who eats bread like a wild boar. No, no, not too close at all. Familiarity breeds contempt. Another you were saying. I can't listen to any more. Sorry for her rude expression and hypocrisy. You get used to them after a while. My gypsy blood is overruled by my father's blue blood. So know whom your fancy is the lead banker. Well, I really appreciate the breakfast, though. I really do. But I'm going to go outside and hit on my electronic cigarette. I'm trying something new. Try not to be so old school, even though I am. Old school? Another U.S. term. Better left unsaid, sir. However, I'm here to guard your wife. And even though the forecast doesn't look so well, I'll try to endure the weather. Best you get some boots. By the way, why do security men always wear sunglasses? So pretentious. Well, I could give you 200 tactical reasons why. However, simply put, I used to guard some politicians, and I didn't want them seeing me roll my eyes when I was watching their speeches. Simple suits you well. Oh, darling, I love it. You're having competition with the smart-ass comebacks. I'm loving it. 5 p.m., I'll be on guard. Anything special? Yes. First off, civilian clothes are forbidden. You must wear the same uniform as Pierre. Also, I will be doing some shopping in Cannes. I expect you to be up front at 5 p.m., not 5, 30, 14, or 15. I'm a stickler for time, man. William? C'est bon, tout va bien se passer. Ils sont tous morts au moins. Ta femme dit au banquier Cette salope Elle vient de nulle part Donc elle, elle est encore vivante Elle avait un pistolet Elle vient de nulle part Enfin, tu es un fils de pute Tu m'as envoyé sur une mission suicide Sans tuer Luke et Paul 
fais confiance à toi. T'inquiète pas. C'est moi Oui, c'est à toi. C'est à toi. Et tu sais pourquoi Antoine est un génie Tu sais pourquoi je suis un putain de génie Pourquoi je suis un génie Pourquoi t'as envie de me baiser tout le temps Parce que je me fais toujours payer avant. C'est la mienne Oui, c'est à toi. J'ai jamais vu quelque chose dans ma vie. C'est à toi. Ça, c'est à toi. C'est la mienne Et toi, tu es à moi. Ah. Tu es à moi. Mmh. Mmh, Dis-moi que t'aimes ça comme une bête. Oh, j'adore. Mmh, dis que t'aimes ça comme une bête. Je le veux comme une bête. You frequent this clothes shop a lot? First time. Good. Why's that? If I have to tell you everything, I'm going to start raising my fee. Americans always looking for the extra buck. You're uh... Oh, and he has a brain. I'm not as stupid as I look. And funny. Not all the time. I won't be long. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yeah. The son of a bitch. You have a great time in France, Jet. You were there in France, and I'm here. You were the better martial artist. I will be there in Europe, and you will be here, breathing all the heat and smoke. And your cigars. I know I'm an hypocrite, you know, but a good heart. Right, baby? Mwah. How's it going over there, Nicky boy? Hey, uh, can't even say hello. Hey, let me absorb the 50 questions first. Over the smart head, son. In good days or in bad. Tony, no, really, thank you. I think it's really nice out here for me. France is nice. Get my head off everything, you know what I mean? Hey, I gotta go, I'm on watch. Okay, set some ass for me over there, okay? Bye bye. La fine, baby. La fine. Excuse me, ma'am. You see the blonde lady? No, you should have found blades. The blonde lady? Call the police, sir. No, I'm security! Shit! Julieta! Julieta! Oh, What the hell's wrong with you, Mr. Angelo? I'm so sorry. I, I really am. I, I overreacted. Well, that's your bloody problem, isn't it? Are you some kind of pervert? I should re-accept the situation, shouldn't I? I do that as soon as I get to William. Listen, Julieta, ma'am, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. I suppose you really are as dumb as you look. I'm gonna have to buy this dress to settle my nerves. Darling, I got to go upstairs and get packed. You leave again? You promised. Dinner at Ledoux. You promised me. 
Stop acting like a child. I have business in me. I can't get out of it. It's pressing. Everything is pressing. You have enough money, we have enough to burn. Most husbands would at least take their wives to dinner when they say they would. What do you want from me? To go out to dinner with that Neanderthal New Yorker? Used to be better at this. I used to be better at a lot of things. This seems like a nice old chap to me. Shut up, you red bastard! I know there's something going on on the north of France with you. I feel it! I feel it! Paranoid. Darling, the coat. Do you want to jet it down for me? I need to get some cash. I trusted you. Right here in my memory. What the hell, man? Nick, it's probably better you rest. I have this watch and this is not such an unusual situation around here. Every night? Every hour. I'll get the coat from you when I return. And for being such a sweet, lovely, non-stressful wife. <gasps> Nick. It won't help you, and it won't help me. They enjoyed it somehow. Help! Cop. Enjoy the sounds of friends, breeze, and put some headphones on and relax. Yeah, right. What the hell is that looks like? Something out of a gangster film? Not usual for security. Shotgun. That's what you like? My weapon of choice. Very unorthodox. I'm a little lazy. It sprays a room, kicks ass, and takes names later. Sorry? That's a U.S. term. It'd take a little while to explain to a French man. Okay. Thanks. Madame, je peux vous servir quelque chose? Hello. <laughs> you know way more English than your portrait. And I would appreciate you speak it before I vomit. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Listen, come here. Yes, yes, ma'am. Look at that peasant American. He's the guy with glasses on, trying to look cool and important. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. I see him with you walking. Is he security? Yes, he is. I'm a very, very important woman. Or oh, actually, I'm just a trophy wife to a rich Brit. <laughs> However. Sorry, ma'am? Oh, never mind. Just go and tell that peasant New Yorker to come and dine with me. He's a real pain in my bum, but he is at least taller than any of the other men I fucked around on my husband with. <laughs> I am very sorry. I didn't get that last time. Never mind. Just have that Yang come and sit next to me. He's a real Colchester. But he looks cool in glasses. And maybe he'll give me a few laughs. <laughs> I have to speak English slow to understand. No problem. Just go and bring the monkey here. <laughs> Sir, the lady would like you to join her, to dinner with her. Uh, that's not part of my job description. What do you mean? 
I mean, what do I'm going to sit down with you, but you're going to have to give me a cheeseburger and cola to do, right? I will try. Can I sit? Have a seat and take off your damn glasses. Isn't that kind of you, Mr. Nick? It's Angelo, if you're going to call me Mr. I stick with Nick the Dick. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I was just kidding. Please, have a seat. Didn't know you were so sensitive. I'm not. I'm just not a masochist. I used to think I was a sadist till I married and moved here. Then I realized I just might be the opposite. Well, sometimes life just hits us where we don't want to. Life is never what it seems. Hey, Nick, I was wondering, what makes you so special? I'm not trying to get you in a bad mood or anything. But, I mean, okay, you're not a bad-looking fellow, but you're not a pretty boy. And you don't seem to have such a great way about you. I mean, really, I've watched many movies. Where's all the charm? and charisma that goes along with a special body. <laughs> you want to take it all out on me, don't you? You want to stick it to me good, don't you? I don't understand. All this money, all this treasure, and all the diamonds that prick you, and all the sun that burns you. I just can't get it. I just can't understand it. All this money, all this all, and no real smile. I can't say I agree with you. Hey, Nick, can you do me a favor? Can you talk this manager into letting me sing a song? I mean, really, if I don't create or do something, I'm going to go mad. You hear me? I'm going to go stark raving mad. I'll see what I can do. Oh, voila. Dreams Such do come true. Cheeseburger and cola. <laughs> You do everything I tell you. You do what I tell you. Go under the table and I count to three, right? <laughs> I love you, kinky man. <laughs> hey, but hey, I know I'm a little bit loose. However, I do have at least a little bit public pride. <laughs> you see, you see around and do as I say immediately. Listen to me. God. Please. Not again. Why?
Come on, you're up. Do you want to meet the cop police? Who sent you? Uh -huh. How do you say who sent you? He was not by you. Give us a way. Give us a way. How do you say exact address? Address exact. You're joking, right? No, that is it. Exact address. No. Exact address. Anything else here? A bottle of whiskey. Why are we stopping? Why you don't take the car? Ma'am, we can't stop here. We have to get out of the kill zone. We're not taking a car, we're taking a taxi. I need to check the car for bombs. Just in case. I thought you stopped drinking. I bit the guys in. I'm being safe. Did you see I didn't swallow? May we please go? Those men. I mean, you just push their arms and necks. Yes. Didn't mark death touch. Now can we go? What was the strange zigzag motion you did on that man's back? It, it revived him. Didn't mark death touch revival. Now can we get out of the kill zone? Please, man. You're insane. What the bloody hell is going on here? Mr. Windsor, I will jump to the street. So the street. chase. You mean the chase. I'm bloody sick of your American colloquialism. But sir, your wife had an assassination attempt on her life the other night. You couldn't be reached. Your cell phone was out of order. And Pierre, well, we didn't want to tell Pierre for security reasons. Bloody hell. Pierre is fine. He worked also with my father. Ha! Asleep on the damn job. You should be shipped back to the breakfast this evening. Oh, I'm really sorry, sir. Good evening. It's daytime. If that man goes, I'm going back to Italy and without you. He was up for almost two days now. He saved my life the other day. I know that's his job, and I don't want to blow any smoke. Darling, are you all right? Where the fuck were you when I needed you? Maybe if you were at dinner with me, this might not have happened. That's not true, ma'am. It was a bland hit. And one of you, not me. Yes, William, always skates free. Always someone who defends his honor, and now even you. How could you let this happen, Nick? Was it bad? Was it bad? Have you ever seen a genius fighter? Nah, I'm no genius. I'm as slow as a brick, and I got really bad knees. Tell William. Go on, Nick. Explain all the sassy action what it was. Dimmack is a very rare pressure point in knowledge. Nick is one of the world's best, as my research showed. Bravo, Nick. We should also celebrate Mrs. Dimasiena's help, Nick's fabulous measures, and Mr. Windsor is home safe. Well, then that's really nothing you can look at any late night cable show and be accurate. Pick it up real quick. Now, I think uh, Captain Dubar's here. Uh, the boys are outside. They're here. You're all safe. I'm going to do us all a favor and get some sleep. Thank you for helping my wife. Sorry for the temper. Don't think my guard is down, mister. Don't. You're still under my observation in my book. Yes, of course. Good night. You're relentless, Julieta. I mean, I was so rude. Don't the man just save your life? You could have been more diplomatic. You don't want this guy on the next plane to the Big Apple. Better safe than sorry. Could take a drink any day, you know. Too safe. Good morning, darling. Did you sleep well?
Bonjour. Bonjour. If anyone gets 50 feet, 25 meters near her, I want you to cut them down. If they don't say anything in three seconds, shoot them. Okay, guys? Okay, fellas? No parler anglais. I understand, sir. Okay. Yeah, great. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Angelo? Contract says I get out of my cage every Sunday. But what's the big idea? It's crucial time. Contract's a contract. Besides, you with French's finest. Au revoir. I learned that. I'm not so impressed. Why don't you try getting a little sun? You look a little peaky. <laughs> Screw up, Yank. Thanks, guys. Can I use the cruiser? I'm sorry against policy. Whose car is that? Yes. All right, he won't mind. No, keys are in the car. the arm. Fine. As new. All right. You bloody bitch! How much damage can you cause one's reputation? First it's the affair in Monte Carlo, then it's the femme fatale night howling at the moon and exposing your ass to every French fiend from Cannes. And now... Now the papers have reported that you're having an affair with some fucking Brazilian soccer player. A fucking peasant. A soccer player. Why don't you just line up for a train, you whore? I've had enough. A fucking enough. Lie to him. It's got it. Don't you think it's Fucking witch! You have tried to destroy me from day one. You only wanted money and prestige and to bang every French guy with a slick back haircut and an expensive watch. You're just a gypsy tramp. 
I want my coat! Nick. Hey, Nick. It's personal. It's not our business. Security 101. I want my coat! Be careful with her. She's very sensitive. You're out of me, stop, Mr. Windsor, Mr. Windsor! Let's just take a little break, all right? CB9. CB12. It's the last time you embarrass me. It's the last time you make me look like a bleeding fool. Do you think you are the only man alive who knows the human anatomy? I know a few moves myself, Mr. Angelo. And I would have fared much more in that car with my wife that night if I wasn't knocked in the head. I'm sure you might be a good challenge in the ring. But don't ever get involved in my family business again. Next time you define my family name, I kill you. Julieta, come. Come here. You hate me too, don't you? Not exactly fond of you, but you're my client. How could you let him do that to you? If it was my father, you would have shot him in the face. I need it. I need it. That's you. Yeah. None of you know what you want. None of you know how to keep it. And you all cowards. All of you. I still love you, Joanna. I still miss you. See Mr. Windsor? He's back in the study. Fantastic. Nick, hello. Do you care for a game? You won't have a chance to win with your sunglasses though. Did you see the beautiful clouds in the South Grand Sky here? And the trees and the birds singing. It was a lovely day to make about 200,000 pounds in the first two hours of the morning. I just wanted to tell you that I'm so much happier now that you're here. Now that you're here and I can work more thanks to you, it takes a load off. 
There's a lady in the other room. Nosy New Yorker, aren't you? Part of my job. I just don't know who she is. She's a family lawyer. She has brought us some uh, post-nuptial agreement. Post-nuptial? Hmm. I've heard of a prenuptial. Yeah, well, that bitch, Elizabeth, makes about 3K a month from my wife and I, just by drawing up some post-nuptial divorce decree. And each time we kiss and make up, she smiles, takes the check, and that is that. Sounds like a lawyer to me. I'm really sorry to hear about all this stuff. You're sorry? Are you in love with my wife? <laughs> no. More like hate. Yeah, it's never love. When I look at her, I'm only staring darts. I meant her. And by that, you mean? By that I mean when a woman spends so much time sending anger energy, or hate, so to speak, then she's feeling something, even if it's hate. That belonged to my grandfather. Can you imagine he made it himself? Pretty good artist, huh? Not exactly my style. You're two artists. Speaking of which, we need to beef up the security around here. Why? You're not enough? I don't have an ego. Some say to a fault. But my assertion of the situation is, your wife's life is in grave danger. And there's some serious people who want to see her dead. And they'll stop at nothing, killing a few French police officers, me and you, to get what they want. I'm no superhero. According to the restaurant owner, you're a real hero. Do you really think, Elizabeth? More like the village idiot. You see, sir? William. It's good old-fashioned hate. Darling, why would you say that about our dear guest from the States? He should have challenged you to a duel. If he was like my father, who was a real man. My father was the only man I've ever met. You're all a bunch of, what do they say in America? All those black girls from New York on the rap videos? I don't watch or listen to rap. Pussy. That's what they call you. All of you. If they witness that man slapping you and you're not challenging him. Darling. You know I love you. I truly love you. You may leave now, Mr. Angelo. Privacy. It's killing her to come back to me. But she can't resist. Good night. I took a beating for this. Mr. Angelo, could you bring the car up front? No, 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 no. The red convertible. Thank you. Where you going? Where you going? Hey, it's my day. You're supposed to guard me, be my shadow. Better catch up, slowpoke. How am I supposed to guard a nut like this?
It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Mr. Angelo? You should smile once in a while. People may think you're actually a human being. I'm not here to be human. I'm here to secure you. Darling, I'm so sorry. I won't be able to make it home tonight. You and I alone. You promised. You promised me. Niece, lovely niece. You and I alone. Away from all the steam fucking bodyguards. I'm stuck in Germany. It's such a shithole. The people here are even more stiff than Uncle Philip. I'm meeting with some of Merkel's people. They want everything in writing, even the proposal notes. Maybe two more days, okay? You bastard! Whoa! Julieta. Two more days with you. What the heck? Just threw your phone away. Aren't you going to be a gentleman and try to save myself? I'm afraid of sharks. <laughs> Fucking liar. I'm sure you have enough to get another one. You're a smart ass, you know. If I told William what you just said, he would fire you. Oh, please don't fire me. Please. Oh, I just love babysitting your emotions. You and your sadomasochistic husband. Why don't you go and leave me alone? Stop following me. Didn't know security were allowed to stop women. In your dreams. Nightmares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Too much wind. Mr. Angelo, do you think... Only when I have to. <laughs> Very funny. Do you think that... Do you think that a woman should stay loyal and faithful to a man who can't make love to his wife? Hey, look, I'm a trained killer. I'm not a hairdresser. I have no one else to ask. Just because I don't like you, doesn't mean that I don't think you're sharp. I didn't mean to call you the village idiot. Thank you. I mean, if a man doesn't make love to his wife, how can his wife love him? How can his wife smile? I grew up in a very old-fashioned way. My mother was only with one man, one man and one child. And she gave us everything, her soul, and all of it. However, I was maybe too spoiled. And I looked for a man who would spoil me. Because I was addicted to getting everything I want. Do you hear me? I'm addicted to getting everything I want. Well, too much of anything is too much. As I said, you're sharp. Sir, take, take your hand away from your back. Let me see your hand. Put your hands where I can see them. Let me see your hands. Please be. Sorry. Look at this. Wow. Pretty view. Even takes the breath of a bodyguard away. Many places in France took my breath away. Why? Why do people... Why do people spit on paradise? You mean don't appreciate it? It's simple. When you get everything you want, you realize it's nothing you want, and that what you want is not what you have. Talk about sharp. Nick, 
My husband is impotent. I'm a young woman. Well, young enough to be miserable. But I thought the other day, going up the stair. It's all an act. And he gets in the bathroom and drops to his knees and cries like a child and begs me to forgive him for treating me like a pig. When will you marry? It's only for show. My father knew his father and they set it all up. You don't know much about Europe. It's old and filled with old ways. And even the bourgeois have arranged relationships. The one with the real money, old money. <laughs> It's always been this way. And we are all a bunch of damn sociopaths. And we smile at each other, we live our lives, we hide each real thing, and the old money keeps its old roots. Just one problem. My mother, she was a gypsy, and it kind of screws up the old measure. My dad couldn't help but love her. She had life, and, and she could sing, and she could dance, and she was free until she married him. Then she became his slave. I have a free spirit. I'm different. I'm so different. She would have two young food and not two pleasure. Turn to me. What the hell? Did you think I would forget? Forget what? Ugh. Did you think I would forget the night you grabbed me by the hair? I was trying to save your life. No. You loved it. You loved every damn moment of it. I saw it in your eyes. You're vicious to men. Yes, you are. And a damn good bodyguard. But you despise women. I see it, I feel it, I dream it. I see you killing me, I see you hating me, I see you wanting me. But killing me before it hurts, before it hurts you, what happened to you? Leave me alone! I died long ago. Stop trying to wake up a heart that's dead, I'm dead! It's better we hate each other, believe me. I died long ago. I died when my daughter died. When my Jojo died. I'm just going through the motions just to get through life. No, I'm sure it was the most difficult. Yet I see something else. You hate women, you do. It's so sad. You could have been my home, but you hate me. Don't you, Nicandolo? You hate me! You despise me! I despise you. Yes, I despise you. I hate you. I'm too. If I were you, I wouldn't move anywhere near the gun. I hate to see such a pretty woman filled with holes. It's always so dramatic to see a woman filled with holes. I don't think he loves you, honey. He's not getting out of the car. Don't even go near the gun. Don't kill me, sir. Please, sir, don't kill me. I'm a woman. Don't kill a woman. I believe in equal rights. Je vais lui dire, il n'y a pas de 
What did you say? What did you say? Blame the feminists, honey. You block with block with me! Trust for once in your life. Trust a woman. My whole life men have controlled me. Darling, you were wonderful yesterday. And dessert was just perfect. But I have to admit something to you. I'm cheating on you a little bit. There's somebody special in my life now. Well, you and I can still be friends. Good friends. But you gotta sleep on the couch tonight.
Damn thing never works right. I need the real thing. You look beautiful tonight. A toast to Nick Angelo, the coolest and most resourceful security after Sir Lancelot. I drink to that. You drink to anything. My cola. <laughs> well, I have to say that's the best roast beef I've ever had, Dwayne. And um, I'm probably going to miss this place a little bit, even though there were some rocky times. There was some, but there's been some lovely times also. Thank you. Shall I drive you in the morning to the airport? No, 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 Peter, it's fine now. I don't want you to get off track with guard. I'll take a taxi. I'm sure Julieta could drive you, but she won't get the chance. Ah, too bad. Darling, how's your boo-boo? She's just a regular Bonnie and Clyde. No, seriously. Darling, are you all right? Don't touch me, ever. Don't touch me ever again. Mr. Angelo, I for one will miss your presence. And I truly appreciate what you've done for us. But I'm a spoiled bitch, and I know it as much as you. But thank you. And here's to Nick Angelo. Where are you going, darling? It's early. I'm going to bed early. To masturbate. I'll be thinking about the Lancelot. Good night. Good evening. I'm truly sorry for this behavior. I mean, all you have done, countless time risking your life. I mean, this place already feels better after all these peasants are now dead. Well, you're in good hands. You've got Pierre, and he's one of the best guys I've ever seen. Thank you, Nick. Sir, Mr. Dayton is here. Oh, please, send him in. Gentlemen, please meet Hugo Dauton, our new manager of the Grass Bank branch. I will be taking him into the bank tomorrow for management indoctrination. He comes from up north, doesn't speak a word of English. Sorry for that. Hugo, Renisha, please show him to his room. He will want to get some rest. Tough day. First day on the job always is. Shall we say all is well that ends well? You're getting good at this. Gentlemen, good night. Good night. Good night. Sixty fourth Madison, please. Okay. Nick. You must have done something right. You got a big bonus check for Winston today. <laughs> Do I get my 10%? Huh? Just for the little buddy. You know what? You should leave Europe now and come back to New York. We have a big football game going on next week. OK? 
okay? So leave the chicks and come here. You got some too here. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Let's move on. Bonjour, Monsieur Angelo. Yeah, it's Nick Angelo. You have to beep the horn. People are sleeping around here. Ah, je comprends pas. Yeah, I don't understand either. No smoke, please. It's electronic and it doesn't even work. Ah, okay. Hey, listen, uh, I need to uh, go to uh, get a gift for a friend. Cell phone store, right? Je comprends pas. Cell phone store. Ah, cell phone. Okay. Merci. Good morning, honey cunt. What are you doing? I'm so tired. Darling, come on. Breakfast in bed. What is that? It's a rope, darling. And I'm gonna strangle you. If you don't give me the fucking gold for my own in Santa Fe! There's 40 million in cash and gold in there. Tax free. And this marriage was over long ago. And so is my patience for you. William, I, I, we love each other. We put it there for us, for you and I. Look, you gypsy cunt. Give me the coat, or I'll simply shoot you in bed. And say a long-haired French hippie did it. How hard is that? Everyone believes a man who walks and dresses like I do. It was you. They were trying to kill that night. They were going to torture you and get the coat from you. But you, your gypsy luck hit the dice table. And I almost got a concussion. How could you? We worked all those years as partners. I suffered so much for you. I hated you and played wife for every meeting, every smile, every man for years. Just take half or even more. Don't kill me. They will investigate. They will find you. Don't be so foolish. Stop. You want us to torture you before death.
Let's hang out till you give me the coat. Done. You look beautiful hanging up there like that. Hello? Anyone home? Julieta? Ma'am? Yeah. What do you listen to this loud music for, pal? Here? Here? I think I maybe have a way to work now. I might even fantasize with you like this. Can I have a work now? Sir Lancelot comes and saves the damsel in distress. Oh, fucking bitch! One of us is gonna die. One of us is gonna get shot. Maybe both of us. I'm a pretty good shot. Too much wine. You'll miss me. Drop it! Now what? You're gonna save her and live the life of a security guard? Alive in Brooklyn? Like a peasant, is that it, Julieta? A couple of slices of pizza at the rock corner joint? Sleeping in a cubby hole? Leon. You didn't murder anybody. Your lover killed Pierre. With your money and status, you'll get out in five years. Conspiracy. Do I look like a man who lasts one day in prison? Fuck you, Nick, you have to die today! And be buried on a French farm somewhere! You got me. Get down! Angelo Mais qu'est-ce qui se passe Mais c'est qui ce mec Stop la police Stop la police
You and that whore. You thought you would take my family fortune and run into the sunset. Or is it smog set, New York? And go wasting decades of a family who worked and kept the blood clean from any peasants and any distortion of class. Do you think I would have mixed seats with that gypsy bitch? Bah! She's hired entertainment. Kiss and say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> No! William, stop! No! Nick! Nick, no! Move! Darling, who runs the show? It's time for a divorce. You say, I hate you under the water. Did you say I hate you? There's a thin line between love and hate. No more tears will be in my eyes. There's no need asking. Just at ease, loving deep as we please. Let out the sorrow, unbind your heart. We've got tomorrow for a brand new start. Let out, let out, let out your love. Get rid of your hate, get rid of your anger, moving out of your heart. Get rid of your hate, get rid of your anger, show me that you're eager. Get rid of your hate. 